in a part of the country where history is all around us and sometimes even under our feet. Well, Grayson has a story from the almost extinct town of Broadney, where more of the past was dug up last weekend. This is the most distinguishing landmark left in Riding nowadays, the old Presbyterian Church building. It was built in 1833, and this is what most people who wander back in here come to see. A lot of people don't realize when they see this church and they see Rodney now, they think it's kind of sitting in the center of Rodney. But at one point, this church was at the edge of Rodney. Most of Rodney was up that way, up to up north. Mary Pallon is with the Rodney History and Preservation Society. The group was formed primarily to preserve the old church and the cemetery that goes with it and anything else pertaining to Rodney that can be saved. The south wall of the church has recently been rebuilt and the bell tower reinforced, and today is work day in the cemetery. The cemetery is in the woods on top of the bluff immediately behind the church. Over the past few years, it's been slowly chopped out of the jungle that had overgrown it. Stones are being cleaned, some are being restored, others are being newly uncovered, long buried by the silt. I've just discovered a relative of mine. It's a hunt for the past, probing the ground for buried stones, dowsing for unmarked graves. Trent Lewis has come here for years, alone and with his SCV unit, preserving the past, finding lost graves. It's like finding buried treasure almost. So what's the reason for preserving a long ago deserted place like Rodney? It's hard to explain. I always say you either get it or you don't. We have such a rich history here that to me, we want to save it so we know what we connect to. Rodney is a microcosm of civilization. People come and they go, and they leave things behind. Then others come along and discover where they were and wonder why they came and why they went and to see what they left. So we can see how their story fits into ours. Oh, well, Walt says that Rodney History and Preservation Society has a Facebook page if you would like to keep up with what they are doing in Rodney. So go there and check it all out. What I a good love story. those.